So let's take another live look over Pecor Stadium. You still see a lot of people trying to leave the concert, which got out about 40, 45 minutes ago. You know, people still leaving the area, whether they're trying to beat the rain or maybe even beat something a lot worse than that. But we got WCPO 9 News senior reporter Sean Delancey is live just across the water here. And Sean, you've been speaking with fans all day. They seem prepared for what tonight had in store. Yeah, Brad, I will tell you that right now we are in Covington taking a look out to our west. Uh, it's, no, that's north, but out to our west, we're seeing a lot of flashes out in the clouds, so that's definitely heading our direction right now. But I will tell you that a lot of the Taylor Swift fans said that they knew that there was a potential for severe weather, but that point really got driven home when the tour decided to move the concert up an hour. Now, a lot of respectful, dependable Swifty moms and Swifty dads say that they came prepared. As the opening act bellowed from inside Paycor Stadium to the throngs of Taylor Swift fans outside, they rejoiced. They've been waiting for this moment for a long time. How long have you all been waiting for this day to be here? Since I was four. Since you were four years old. <laughs> so as gray skies gathered overhead, prepared Swifty dads and moms took stock. Blankets, ponchos, umbrellas, because we knew we weren't getting tickets. So just a lot of different snacks chargers, all the stuff. <laughs> all these folks either couldn't afford the thousand dollar tickets or couldn't nab one among all the competition. And I did not want to be that person that was at work that was trying to get tickets all day because I know some people waited so long. Um, so I just said, screw it, I won't get tickets, but I will be there somehow. They say they had to be among like-minded fans who wanted to experience the Taylor Swift vibe come hell or high water, nasty weather or gridlock traffic. The show must go on. It's really lively. It's fun to be around. Everyone's so sweet around here. I'm older Swifty and I was making bracelets for a week. Like, I'm just all into this. Now, Taylor Swift may be moving on to Kansas City, but uh, these storms could be sticking around with us for a little bit while, so keep track with us both here on air and over at WCPO.com. In Covington, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.